From one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Houston Texans and the Kansas City Chiefs. set to kick off. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season. Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. For the Texans here, you wonder just how long it's going to take to get over the loss to the Chiefs in the postseason last year. 
in the divisional round. And the Texans had a 24-0 lead on the road. Normally, you'd consider that ball game, but not when Patrick Mahomes is on the other side of the field as those Chiefs rallied back to win one of three times in those playoffs where they trailed by double digits and came back to get the victory. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A gain of 13. It's a first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive because Brandon when guys come out of the locker room especially those pass rushers they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them and a screen pass is a great way of doing it a lot of teams against good pass rushing team the ball comes out but this will get out of bounds so possession will stay the same well obviously you never want to fumble but if you do good to be towards the sideline and saves them the possession saves the embarrassment saves it going down on the play sheet as a turnover but I still think it should go to the defense, even if they don't recover it. If you give up the football, you gave up the football. Mm, uh, agree to disagree, I guess. <laughs> Can you tell what I played? Yeah, you played defense. Yeah. I'll, I'll let a, you go. I took a shot. A throw out wide to QT, complete. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Nice play on the football, and while it was tipped in the air and made everyone a little bit anxious before falling to the ground, you just know defensive players are taught to knock the ball to the ground. But early in games, emotions come into play. Nerves come into play. And despite the training, the ball was tipped up. Fortunately for them, they didn't pay for that error. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. At their own 20-yard line. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Four yards the pickup, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. 
And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. He was not the primary target. They expected to get the ball downfield. Instead, checked it down. An old coach of mine used to say to us all the time, when they check it down, that should end the down. In this case, though, he foiled that in a big way and turned it into a big play. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Mahomes going to fire this out wide to Hill. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Here's second and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. No gain on the play. A quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers putting up their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Escaping the pressure right. And he's got the hook up here, complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here, and just load up for it and see what happens. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. This will be caught at about the five. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. We're scoreless after one. With no score. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense going to have to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Defensively, they rally the troops to force fourth down after that seven-yard pickup back on first. Joey Sly on for the field goal. A 21-yard. And his kick here is good. And the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you can get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. Space to maneuver at the 40. And now nothing but green ahead of him. The 20. Touchdown, Houston. Touchdown. A big play there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Texans have taken the lead. For the extra point. 
And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, get that water break and get on out there and play. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield and giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Nicole Hardman, the intended target, and it's third and five. Nice play there to force the incompletion, and to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And this ball is going to be down now right at the 10-yard line. Good spot. I absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now a handoff looking right. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 15 yards on the play, first down. Gosh, when you've got Deshaun Watson, Charles, executing a run pass option, that puts the defense in a tough spot, does it not? It does, and what I liked is that you called me this week watching your own video, your own tape, and you said, I think the runner's going to pop a few this week because of what we've seen from Deshaun Watson. His ability to get to the corner, that's where the focus will go. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Brings up second and one. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. And he'll give it here to his running back. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. No gain on the play, and it's third down. to pick it up and he's taken down at the 43 but not before picking up the first down at the 43 it'll be a pickup of just two on the play and it'll result in a fresh set of downs a couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10 quick throw completed by Watson he's got daylight past the 20 so they hit pay dirt, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. This is 
From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. The running back. Give him a couple on the run there. It'll be second and 13. Well, earlier this half, you were wondering how they were going to defend him. I think you used the term bottle him up at different levels. They've struggled to do that. They certainly have because when you see them approach, in order to bottle him up at different levels, that front line's got to take care of business. Oh. That's caught inside the 20. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. First down, Texans. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Two yards that time. A stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. And the 10-year back knocks it through the goalpost. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, it'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. At their own 22-yard line. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes flush to his right. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked off at the 40. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Now that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. One yard game. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left in no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second and nine. Watson. He's got the lane, and there he goes. The 30. 20. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. touchdown. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. Point after, right down the middle. And we are even at 10 apiece. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Their own 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. 
And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. On second and nine, Watson. And he's going to have the hook up to QT. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 23 yards the pick up there. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And again, this time to the tailback. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Second and 11 at their 48-yard line. Second and 11 now. To throw is Watson. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him nine yards on the second down screen play. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. So third and two. This quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. Here's a quick throw out left. It's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A pickup of 11 at a Texans first down. That time the conversion comes courtesy of the RPO. And know what it did? It moved the sticks. Nice pickup on third down. Even better decision. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Watson. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. A great effort there. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Texans have broken the tie. Kaimi Fairbairn. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Yeah, you're so right because you really need to rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, wherever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. He's tackled. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Flushed out right. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. 
He's got his man on the crossing route. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. The 40-yard line. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory, right at the 40. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Eluding the pressure right. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Brings up second and 10. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Incomplete. Brings up a third down and 10 yards to go. They come up to the line now facing a third and 10 after the incompletion. On play action, it's Mahomes. Escaping the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And this Texans defense stands tall. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. This now a chance at the very least to burn some clock following that fourth down stop. Points would be ideal for some breathing room, no doubt. And really, a field goal would be huge. That would make it a two-score game. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Now they try the right side here. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. The tally there, minus two yards. Brings up third down. And it's third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Throwing on third down, Watson. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. He's picked off near his own 48. And they will finally stop him, but a great return. Gets that football all the way down to the 16-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. 
And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. 21-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Flush to his right. And that is incomplete. Will Fuller was the intended target, but it's going to be second down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 28. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. At well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to them and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. To throw on second and six, Mahomes, throw complete right side to Cooks. And he'll get it down this time in the 17. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. 17-yard line. A handoff as they run the counter play. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. A great play there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Chiefs use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And they will take a seven-point lead now. Good. Makes the score Chiefs 24. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So you know, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. These defenses struggling. Are there tendency breakers on defense? All defensive coordinators keep something in their hip pocket for these types of situations. What can we do to slow down the onslaught? But the biggest thing is make sure these guys encourage each other, pick themselves up, because right now, it's been a really tough ball game trying to stop these offenses. Oh, it really has, especially as of late. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Out of the gun, Watson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. 
It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 45-yard line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Watson on target here to Fuller. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I tell you, it has not been his best day throwing the football. He really needs to piece something together here. All will be forgiven if he leads him into the end zone. Now it's Watson. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That one unable to develop. Never got going. A loss of a couple. And it's second down. The Chiefs, 38-yard line. Watson. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Here's Jacobs from the gun. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. And movement here by one of the Texans up front. In comes the flag. The false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. Now Watson. Now they go screen. It's complete. Call it a gain of five. And they're going to have a third down. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Then on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Watson now to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he is across and in for the score. And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two and go for the win. Yes, sir, that touchdown puts them in striking distance. And let me tell you something, forget being conservative here. Go for it, go for two. Well, going for it on the road. Want to win it right now? Well, win it right now. Have the momentum. Go ahead and get it done. He'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And they do not get it. It's incomplete. They went for the win, and the big gamble does not pay off. Texans 23. So we're back to a one-point game now as the kickoff comes. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll conserve whatever time he can as they'll opt to bring it out to the 25-yard line. offense out of the huddle ready for their next drive and still two timeouts defensively but even if they choose to use those three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory and that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game a little clock management 101 so this one in the win column for kansas city and they were buoyed charles by a big second half to put this one on ice and I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. But I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, 
and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So for the Chiefs, they climb back to 500 now at three up and three down. And they'll get another home date next week as the 49ers will come to town. Meanwhile, for Houston, they dip to two and five now with the loss. And they'll try again next week at home against Philadelphia. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.